guys so as promised I am back to show you all of the little added features that I added to the house and also the finished uh, product when I last saw you it was the night before her birthday it's now four days later so the kids have all been playing they've all been really really loving it uh, there's also a couple of tips that I've got for you if you're planning on doing this at home um, just a couple little things that I'm going to have to uh, fix up so I'll let you know where I got each thing from and also I'm going to write a blog post up over on my blog so once I've done that I will add it in the description box down below um, and that will have links to all the little things that I bought. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you see when you walk up to the little house is the little Hello Lovely People doormat. It's actually a really small mat. So as you can see there, and I got that from Pillow Talk. These are the flower, flowers that I chose to put in the uh, planter boxes out the front of it. And they are from Kmart. I ended up buying three um, bunches of the peonies and I actually put some there inside as well. I chose the number two as my little girl was turning two. So that number... There was no other number that seemed to have massive significance to us so we put a number two on there we got that from bunnings and we also got the beautiful little door handle from bunnings as well um now here comes the tip as you can see here um the kids have been touching this a lot and got it grubby that has worn yeah, as you can see there um the kids have been putting the doormat up like this to keep it shut because for some reason, and I don't know why this doesn't, we've put blue tack there now. Um, this is metal, so we tried to put a magnet on it and that's just our dog playing in the background. Um, and so I've, I scratched a bit of the paint off um, and I stuck a magnet there. It did not work. So now we've got blue tack that seems to work. So I'm gonna touch that up as well. We actually only did two coats of paint on the whole thing. Uh, the second coat being a thicker coat um, but in retrospect I would actually do three or four coats because as you can see the marks on the door um, the door was black originally I'm going to um, repaint that really soon also yeah you didn't see the roof on there isn't that beautiful and this um, little pirate ship bell um, we got that from Bunnings as well um, I have actually taken the bell part out because it was driving us insane. So, yeah, so that was that. I think I already mentioned that the rug we got from Bunnings, um, I've also added a little table and chairs, which we already had. Um, this table is absolutely filthy because the kids have used it as like a craft table so i just put one of grace's little um wraps from when she was a baby on there as a tablecloth and that seems to work really well i've had to wash one already because they got it dirty and then these are little stools from ikea that we already have so these are already dirty um and i was thinking about getting rid of them but they actually work perfect out here with the house so because they're going to get dirty anyway aren't they so in here in the house I've got a couple of Kmart accessories. So Grace got the ice cream set for her birthday. The little kitchen set she got for Christmas. Um, there's a couple of the pieces missing there, I've just noticed. That little picture is just one that we already had. I just left it in its plastic casing. Um, eventually I wanna put like a little hook up and get a really nice kind of almost like a banner thing to hang there, but I couldn't find anything on the day I was out looking. Um, I put this little container here which came from, well it's not really that tiny, um, which I got from Kmart and I thought it was, it seems like a quite a sturdy one so I thought that was good. So all of the little cooking bits and food bits are in there. Most of the food is um, the wooden food um, and wooden sets from Kmart. So I'll link some of the ones that we got her for her birthday. She also got the little basket set. Um, that's just a little picnic basket set. That's, that, that actually didn't come with it. That's some of the wooden fruits. Um, so yeah, and that came with like plates and everything in there. I'll insert a little picture here so you can see what's inside it. On the side here, that is a little Kmart chair and 
it's actually close to Easter so I bought this little Easter basket which the kids have been using as like a shopping basket we already had this bunny Rosie has chewed it so unfortunately bunny really lives mainly inside so these little cups here I really wanted to find little plastic vases but I wasn't I couldn't find any so I just bought um, some plastic tumbler type cups and they were from Target so and they seem to work okay obviously you can see the flowers underneath I also just wanted to um, say that I actually thought that the flowers was going to take me a really really long time to do but I'll just show you here they come in a bunch with this tie string around it so I haven't even done that all I did if you can see here is I bent the bottoms up there's like a wire inside there and then I literally just shoved it in there perfect and I mean you can just rearrange it yep and the same on the other side one of those flowers has been bitten off by the dog so anyway um yeah so they were actually really easy to do and they had lots of different types of flowers that were quite cheap at Kmart so I was very happy with that yeah so that is about it from me I uh, hope you really enjoyed this video I really tried to look around on YouTube when we were um contemplating painting it because I know that there's lots of people on Pinterest and Instagram that have done it and I couldn't find any videos so I thought maybe this video might inspire you guys to do up your own little cubby house for your little ones I know all three of our children not just the birthday girl have already spent hours and hours and hours outside here um, so yeah it was it was really worth all of the hours um, that it took us to to do this so yeah Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and make sure to hit that subscribe button if you are not subscribed already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.